Uh, usually, when we hear about high school theater awards, it's the musicals that get all of the attention. But what about the plays without music, like Romeo and Juliet, or maybe Fences? Well, they're getting their moment in the spotlight, too. And students putting on these productions are being honored for their work, work in the way that the Gene Kelly Awards do for high school musicals in the spring. So joining us now is the director of the Drama Awards, John Dolphin, along with students Kylie and Andrew, the two winners of Best Student Director at this year's high school drama awards. Thank you all for joining us and congratulations, yeah, congratulations. to you guys. Thank you so much. So tell us a little bit about the production. This was a parody of Harry Potter. Yes. Yeah. So Harry Potter is obviously a really well-known book series and this play is a parody about the Puffs or you know them as the Hufflepuffs. Um, but the Puffs are kind of the underdog of all the four houses and the story kind of follows their years at school while Harry is getting into all of this mischief and how they cope with that. How was last night? Because last night was the award ceremony, right? I mean, yeah. aside from taking home a win, was yeah. it a lot of fun too? <laughs> it was the greatest experience. As you said, uh, oftentimes musical theater is yeah. what gets covered so much. And to see so many different schools come together and sort of make that community and, and cheer for each other, not yeah. just for themselves, it was, it was really fun and to see uh, so many people get excited was also great. wonderful. That's wonderful, John. I mean, we do talk about musical theater with yeah. the high school, you know, high schools in our area. But theater is al alive and well, and there's so much energy and enthusiasm in in schools all across our area. Yeah, and that's one of the things at Prime States that we wanted to focus on: the fact that some people don't even know that these kids are doing what they're doing. Right? They come to the musicals, but they they don't come to the fall plays. We want to get that word out there that all of these high schools mm -hmm. in our area are doing really tremendous work, unbelievable performances. John, tell us a little bit more about your background too and why this was so important for you to be able to bring <laughs> all of these kids together to recognize them. This is the fourth year you've done it? This is the fourth year. COVID kind of put a little wrench in the works the first uh, two years. Um, we had 12 schools this year. We're up to 12 schools. We had uh, nearly 400 people in the audience wow. for the ceremony last year. And um, I'm a retired English teacher mm -hmm. um, and an actor and all sorts of things. And growing up in Western New York, I had the opportunity to go to awards ceremonies like these kids have and I got here and I was like where is it where we is need it this. Right. yep well I love it because it encourages them which is fantastic uh, you know Andrew talk to us a little bit about what it's like to be a student director because what's the job of a director for people who don't know and part of it is sort of telling your fellow students what to do right? yeah it would be quicker to say what isn't the job of the director okay. by the end of it. Um, you're sort of, you're, you're covering all the bases, answering as many questions as possible, making sure everyone's on the same page. But then also it's our job to sort of have a vision of what we want it to be. Uh, we choose the show, so you kind of go step by step and make sure that everything's sought out and, and it, it works at the end. Kylie, tell me about your involvement being a director. Is this something that you want to pursue? I want to go into animation. So I definitely love the arts and performances, and I think film and theater go hand in hand. Right. So just telling stories, like John said yesterday, um, ultimately, or someone at the awards said, like, telling stories is the root of theater. Mm -hmm. right. And I think I find that in film too. And that's just something I, I wanna do. That's amazing. Well, clearly you are two bright stars, and we are thankful that you were able to join us today, and congratulations on your win. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. And John, thank you for doing what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah. Great. How many other winners were there last night? We had 16 different categories, both backstage and on stage. That's, That's great. great. I'm glad that you're recognizing backstage, too, because we know yep. how much that that goes into all of it. Yeah. yeah. All right, so much talent right here in our area. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some of these kids on the big screen or on Broadway. And for more info on all the Prime Stage Award winners, go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.